Hello everyone, uh, I am Nikola Grazin. Today we will compete with uh, Yana and I will try to kick his ass. Yeah, I'm about to get whooped. But uh, yeah, it's me, Yana, here back again for another video. And in today's video, I'll be doing a one on one Richard Burns rally battle with Nikolai Griasin. And uh, we drove three stages for this video. Uh, we did Verkia and Chodenhead with uh, Scooter Fabio R5 with equal setups. Nikolai provided me those. And uh, then we did one surprise stage with a surprise car. And uh, those were driven with default setups. And uh, the rules were simple, both had two attempts and at each stage and uh, the fastest time of each driver was counted and uh, yeah, quite simple really. And uh, the Verkia one was done through shakedown because uh, Nikolai had split some files to make it work better or something, the stage that is, and we couldn't run it through the tournament and we didn't want to hassle it. But uh, yeah, the other two are driven in the tournament. And uh, yeah, I'm going to show first my own onboard run with the commentary and, you know, onboard views and pedal cams and whatnot. And then I'll put, tell you the times, of course. And then I'll put a side by side comparison from the bonnet cam featuring me and Nikolai driving at the same time. So you can see where one of us worked differences over the other on the stage. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's dive into Verkii with the Skoda Fabia R5. All right, here we are at the start line with the Fabia R5 Evo. And uh, yeah, this is the first of the two runs. And if you see this on the video, then that second one sucked. Because yeah, the faster one counts. And I am running a setup given by Nikolai, so it's going to be equal. Equal in uh, car performance wise, every way. So, uh, all about driving skill. So. I uh, most likely get whooped. But, uh, yeah, let's we'll see. At the time of filming, I don't know what kind of time Nikolai is going to drive. But uh, yeah, I'll do my best. And uh, yeah, the setup feels good, way better than uh, better than uh, default. Especially with the bumps. Yeah, yeah, taking it a bit carefully on this first run because I can't really remember the stage that well yet. But uh, still trying to do my best. So I can put Nikolai, but yeah, we'll see how it goes afterwards, this, after this run is done. I don't remember the stage like best, so I guess that my second one will be way faster if I don't crash, that is. This is a bit of a tricky part, and yeah, here's the tricky part with that. the hairpin you can't go too close to that otherwise it will mess up the stage but, uh, something with the driving line it seems according to rally guru Thank 
No, no. The car is still running somehow, but yeah, I'm off. This is. I think I'm not gonna win this round. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm not gonna win this round. Shit. So close to the finish as well. Damn. This is a tricky spot. Yeah. We're gonna push for the second run because this one was shit. And here we are. Second run of Burkei as the first one ended in heartbreak. Hopefully we can manage a cleaner run this time around. Otherwise I will look like a proper loser. Yeah, not the best execution of the chicane, but we managed. Still don't know if I can drive through this flat out, so I have to take off a bit there. Yeah, this is a brilliant, brilliant stage. Sadly, not much used as it is. Apparently, a bit badly optimized for some. For something. But, uh, yeah, luckily for me, it works well because this is a beautiful, beautiful stage. But yeah, this is a beautiful, beautiful stage with rough tarmac. I can see why uh, Nikolai enjoys the stage. Or chose the stage for this battle. <laughs> Maybe I should talk less and drive more. Yeah, I didn't see the notes at all blacked out. This is a tricky but fun section here. And now again for the heavy. Much to go anymore. Hopefully, we can avoid crashing this time around. Yeah, not the best of runs, but a lot faster than one before. Now, let's see how I fared up against. Nikolai. <laughs> it's quite rough getting beaten by seven seconds, but uh, as you probably could see, I wasn't really confident on that run. But now let's see side by side comparison with me and Nikolai and to see where I lost all that time.
<laughs> yeah, you can see which one of us can really drive. But yeah, that's Verkia done. And next up, we're going to Chodenhead. And here we are in uh, Chodenhead. Hopefully, it'll be a bit more of a match here than in Verkia. That was horrible. I just booped big time. And, uh, this is a bit familiar for me. Yeah, I love this stage. Especially now with the proper setup, this is super fun. With this car. And with the proper skin too. Yeah, a bit cautious there. Hope to get a bit of a bank to run with this one. So, uh... I can push for the next one then. Almost went wide, but not quite. No, it almost doesn't count. Some entertainment for the fans. Are through. First one done. 324.15. Okay, you run, but yeah, now we will see Nikolai's results immediately after all. After this uh, stage, because this one is done as a tournament. I think he had some issues because the between first and second split, there's a massive time loss for him. And uh, yeah, was, there's something must have happened because the first split was really, really close. But uh, yeah, now that was a good banker and now we can push. And the car is really, really good. Maybe a bit uh, too responsive for the some bumps on the rear, you know, the fast bumps, maybe it would be <laughs> or should be altered a bit, but uh, yeah, not worth it for something. So 
something for fun like this. I claim that it's for fun, but I'm trying my best here. Competing more effort than VRC. Try too much, try too much. Let's no wait. No, it's only for <laughs> only luckily, you know cosmetic damage by the hour. Shame that I bottled it so early on. So uh, yeah. I yeah. I'm just Driving, cruising through, really. Test a few things, like how far you can push on some of these places. For future instances, just as a learning experience. But yeah, shame that we. Messed up that one, there was like massive time gain already. Maybe along the gears as well. Yeah, not the, not the best of uh, driving here. But, um, at least I have that banker, but I know that Nicholas can go really fast on the second run. I think I should do like a maximum attack one during this combo. To try how fast I really can go with a bit of hot lapping here. Within reasonable, reasonable limits, of course. But. Yeah, this is a fun car and a fun. Uh, Oh, balls! Yeah, that's the uphill line through there. We have already lost this run compared to the previous one, but yeah, just trying to find some limits and whatnot. With the bad time of 3.56 of 5. Yeah, not a, not a good run, but uh, yeah, at least we had that one as base. And there's no world record class being set yet, so that's good, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I got whooped. I got whooped again. He got a good run. I didn't. <laughs> Yeah, there's a reason why I, he's driving rally for real and I'm just sitting here pretending to be a rally driver. Yeah, just like uh, Verki, I got whooped here in Jordanhead as well, and uh, but not as much, only like three or four seconds. And uh, now let's take a look again at the onboards side by side to see uh, where I lost that time and uh, how more daring uh, Nikolai was this time around.
And now children head done and dusted. Next up, surprise stage and the surprise car. I know you guys are gonna love it. <laughs> and here we are for the special round of this battle with Fiat 126P in uh, Humalamake. And the default setup as well. And uh, I yeah, didn't bother to set up H pattern and uh, change the sensitivity. So now we're going like this. <laughs> yeah, I think this is going to be a close battle because you can't really gain with this car. <laughs> yeah, this is. <laughs> if someone has told me like five years ago <laughs> that I've been driving Fiat 126P in Humalamagi against Nikolai Griasin or any real rally driver in that matter, in like now, I would, wouldn't have believed them. <laughs> this is this is brilliant. This is absolutely brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think the car is gonna destroy itself if this keeps up, if we keep going so much on the limiter, but yeah, whatever. <laughs> I hope that I can beat Nikola at least with this joke car, as I couldn't with the proper car. But. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. yeah, he said that he's gonna go flat out of the jumps, and uh, yeah, not much of a jump regardless. <laughs> oh boy, this is so, so fun. I think I, I could al almost do those in, like, flat out. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> like this is the quality content that I'm able to provide driving against a pro rally driver in RBR with the best car ever. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, I think that you can actually go, apart from the first corner, you can go flat out on the stage. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, let's see what kind of a result Nikolai managed here as we did 240.42. <laughs> this has to be one of the best things I've ever done. Yeah, far off the world record pace, but oh, he must have crashed or something. I don't know. Damn. Is there anything from him? Oh yeah, he apparently Nikolai hit the stone. So uh now we are heading for heading for another run. Well there was some damage, but yeah, no damage to the tires at all. This is brilliant, this is absolutely brilliant. And yeah, now a similar situation. Uh, I'm leading after the first round, after Nikolai has crashed. But let's see what we can manage here on the second run. I'll try to take those corners flat out that I slightly boost on. The two left-handers. And uh, yeah, I, I think I should sometimes do a rally just with the fastest stages out there in Richard Burns' rally with this car. No, no! Survived, but at what cost? We lost time. We lost a lot of time there. The previous time was 2.40, so now we need to push really hard. As you can see, I'm pushing. 
Yeah, this is the. Uh, this is absolutely brilliant. You should have like a hot lap challenge or something with this. Or something, I don't know. <laughs> this is absolutely brilliant. But yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go. Full throttle now. Or at least not brake for the left handers. The one that's coming now, and then the other one that's coming later on. Maybe a small lift, but. Nah, fuck it. Flat out. I wish I could have done that like in the previous run. Yeah, no need to really lift foot brake here. Usually that no this there because you jump way further because you have actually speed. And uh, Yeah, easily flat that one as well. <laughs> this is that quality content. Top notch. <laughs> Oh boy. I wonder if we can improve on this one. I doubt because uh, I lost a bit of time there. But uh, yeah, we're not gonna improve on this one. Because I lost time. But I gained on the few corners, but. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe not. not. Close, but no cigar. Shit. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what's up. <laughs> that is the best car ever on pretty much the best stage ever. Let's see now if I got whooped again. Oh, wait. No, I didn't get whooped. I won this round. <laughs> Yeah, I won with the best car ever, but yeah, now you can see that my experience kicks in. I've driven this car before, but Nikola hasn't, but he has driven the Fabia a lot before, so uh, <laughs> yeah, and this is absolutely, absolutely amazing. <laughs> If Fiat 126 was still a viable choice for rallying in the WRC, I'd be definitely a WRC driver. We can see it from here. Yeah, I think it's all about who knows the car better because I got whooped in the Fabia R5 that I haven't driven yet much. And uh, yeah, Nicola got whooped by this guy in the best car ever that I've driven quite a bit. And uh, yeah. Like before, side-by-side -side comparisons to see where the gap came up.
And uh, yeah, that is all for now. Thank you so, so much, Nikolai, for uh, participating in this, helping me to do this. It was an absolute pleasure. And thanks to you watching that. Truly, truly appreciate it. And uh, yeah, that's all for now. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later on with another stream. Bye.